Hello, this is Al K0CN, and I've removed the cover of the Alpha 8406 to install the transformer. But while the cover's off, it's a perfect time to take a look at the inside. I'd like to start off with a couple of safety issues. First of all, unplug the amplifier before removing the cover. And secondly, the amplifier is equipped with an interlock switch, which removes the primary power from the amplifier and a crowbar to short circuit the high voltage to the chassis when the cover is lifted. We can see the interlocks uh, are located here. With that said, let's take a look at the power supply side of the amplifier. You'll note on the right hand side a large fan which is used to move air into the chassis for cooling. Next to that is a large open space where the transformer will be mounted and is held in place with four bolts. On the left hand side are two circuit boards. The upper circuit board is the mains board and the lower circuit board is the high voltage board. The transformer is a rather large unit weighing about 43 pounds and it has connectors on the ends of the leads for easy assembly. Now I've moved to the RF deck. Up front you can see the tank circuit with its variable capacitors and also the tank coil. And as we turn the controls on the front panel, you can see the plates of the capacitors move to give us varying values of capacitance. The input of the tank circuit is connected to the plate or anode of the amplifier tube, which is the 4CX1500B. The tube is in a, a silicone rubber chimney, which helps direct the airflow through the cooling fins of the tube. Behind the tube is a fan which is used to move air to cool the amplifier tube as it passes through the fins. Below the tube is a socket and associated circuitry supplying the needs of the tube. Well with that, I think we'll end our tour of the Alpha 8406. Thanks for watching.